How's it going, people of YouTube and all other people watching this video? This is Halo Two Duo, as always, and joining me is Spiky B, or what do you want me to refer to you as? Um, yeah, like a DJ or something like that. Okay, I'll, 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 I'll call you DJ. He, he's obviously he's a DJ. Anyway, um, yeah. Like so that. this is kind of a a new a new series that I'm gonna do on my uh on my server. Uh, all the stuff in this uh, world is going to be completely cheated in. I'm not gonna lie about that. Uh, basically, I'm gonna teach him the mods, uh, well, to my best uh, ability, and uh, yeah. And this, this is uh, going to be Cal. He's Question: Because Tech it sucks, and yeah, Tech it, you know, Tech it, Tech it's dying and stuff, and and it's too, old, too outdated. It's yeah, it, it is, it is. So, you know, to to keep up with modern times, I'm I'm gonna teach him these newer mods, and uh, yeah. Oh, well, I know. Like Oh, well, he's going to be the, uh, sponsor. Okay. He better pay well. I mean, Jesus. This is high-grade fence. There we go. You stay here, okay? He might want some seeds. He can't quite get them, but... He probably isn't getting out. I mean, I really don't think we should feed him. Ah, uh, here. Have some more. Okay, so... Uh, where should we start on this? What mod would you like to start on? Um... I don't know, what's easiest to like, start with, I guess. Well, I, I mean, guess, you know what, I'll, I'll go into creative and uh, just see the first thing I figure, I, I, I find. You're going what's to that? create, you're flying around, I think you're already in it. <laughs> okay, I, I will open the creative menu, how's that? Okay. Right. Actually, I'm going to go into any eye, and that, how's, how's that for you? Any eye. Okay, uh, now, yeah, let's see. Oh, apparently you take damage when you go out of creative, anyway. See next page. I mean, I'm guessing we're, we're we're starting this as if we've like just been we've just gone off and mined loads of like materials and stuff, and we we, we need to get okay. started. Oh, okay. In that case, in that case, we would, we probably want to uh, you know start off as we would normally start, uh, you know, make a house. But uh, we we don't need houses, you know, because houses are mainstream. Okay, so we would we'd probably, you know, want to... You kind of start out the same as Tekkit. You want to make a macerator and such. Mm -hmm. um, I kind of went more of the uh, homeless approach, you know? Like living off the land, eating wheat a lot. Uh, you what could... What did you make into bread? Oh, no, I just ate the, the bare wheat. Um, oh. Yeah, it's pretty unhealthy, but it gets the job done. And then, you, you know, you, you kind of evolve. I, I think the first thing I made was probably you know, a portal gun, which is really the worst idea I've ever had. Ever. And it was just terrible. But I guess we can start with portal gun. I mean, I'm sure that's quite a good mod to start with. Okay, so I'm assuming you know how to use a portal gun. It looks like you, uh, you do. Uh, let's just see if you know everything about them, because uh, that is the... the uh, the plan in this, okay? Basically, yep. left click uh, puts one portal and right click puts another. Yep. Okay. Okay, so you know that. Now, to clear the portal, you hit R. Yep. Okay, R. Now, uh, you obviously know how to pick up blocks and pick up animals. Yep. Okay, then you know about everything there is to know about a portal gun. Congratulations. Okay. Now, um, portal actually puts a lot more than just portal gun mod. It actually, uh, Adds boots, if you didn't know. Long haul right. boots. Okay, okay, so we just go into survival and put a pair of those on. And try to die from falling then. You can fall you can fly in the air and fall out of the sky if you want. So as you can see, long fall boots basically cuts off the falling damage. It's quite nice, actually, quite nice. You have to, uh, you make it by making a long fall boot, two of them actually, and then combining them in a crafting bench and making long fall boots, which you can then wear. It's actually quite a simple recipe: four obsidian and six, or er, and twelve iron. So yeah, uh, there's also, I mean, are you quite familiar with the uh, portal gun mod to begin with? Um, yeah, fairly. Fairly. So you know that it adds like a. Like, uh, these things. Oh god. Well, um, <laughs> you know what? I think I might want a pair of those, uh, boots. To be completely honest. Uh, wasn't aware of that. 
Oh god. Yeah. Well. It does quite a bit of damage actually. Just gonna warn you of that. Oh, I just lost 31 levels of experience. Crap. <laughs> you know what? This is all this is all cheated. So I'm I'm going to put all the stuff that I had back in my inventory when I, I'm actually going to do my uh, let's play. So yeah. Well, thanks for leaving my stuff. So yeah. Yeah. You, you took my experience though. I noticed that. Yeah, okay, okay. Well, those are basically aerial plate fla uh, platforms. Um, they're actually quite cool. Well, uh, I think there's some kind of configurable settings on them. Maybe not? Yeah, okay. So there is. Uh, when you right-click them, over here. Oh, run. Run. Okay. okay. So uh, you can make it, uh, basically, if you wanted it to be like a lever activated or like a uh, pressure plate, you could, you know, activate the redstone. So right now, you just got... <laughs> Good job. Um, okay, so now uh, you, you should try coming over here. And um, yeah, so it doesn't need redstone. You just step on it and it does it. Hey, how you doing? Oh, wait, why? <laughs> I, I might have tweaked the settings a little bit. Yeah, that's great. Oh, God, no. Okay, so is this quite easy to make then? Oh, uh, well, it's. Let's see. I'm not actually sure. I haven't. Um, I haven't made one yet. I, I probably will though. Oh yes, it's very easy. It's two obsidian, one glass, one redstone, and three iron for the uh, the aerial faith blade. Now I believe there might be one more. I'm not really sure what it is, but uh, I'm pretty sure it is. Sorry that I I don't really know, but trust me. I oh god. <laughs> oh, okay, yeah. That, that's an awesome little toy to play with. That's basically uh, the portal. Oh god, I didn't mean to jump on it. I was, I was trying to run past it this time. You know what? I'm just going to break that with my... Uh, I, don't, I honestly don't know. I'm just going to pick. Um, okay, I guess... Well... Alright, okay. So now, we, we, now we've gone over the, the portal that mod. Uh, just delete this. That's really it. Uh, I'm going to keep these boots on because I'm sure I'm going to die. If not, what is... Uh, oh god! I should have known. Okay, well, <laughs> next mod, let's see. Oh, apparently they go vertical as well. <laughs> apparently. Yeah, that's, well, that's always something you can learn. Uh, you know, I'm going to leave uh, most of the big mods towards the end, because those are going to require a lot of time and a lot of dedication. And, you know, uh, with a 30 minute time frame, I don't want to cram a lot in just because. Yeah, okay. Uh, Okay, so you're familiar. Well, Buildcraft is kind of crazy. Uh, I guess I'll just cover the engines in uh, Buildcraft. Actually, just the engines in this mod pack probably be good. Sterling engine. I'll show you all of them in just a second. Don't wow. worry. Okay, so. Redstone engine. Crap. Crap. Steam engine. Yeah, well, they they're gonna kind of do that, but. You, you I think everyone, everyone who plays Tekken will know those three. Yep, but they kind of get crazier as they go on, and my phone just rang, but it's fine. Okay, so, yep, Redstone Engine, you already know that. Sterling Engine, right? That was the steam engine of Tekken. It's the exact same, it's just uh, there's some new steam engines that actually use steam, which is awesome. So, uh, okay. you know, they're named Sterling Engines now. Uh, combustion Engine, I'm sure you're aware. Uh, biogas Engine, basically... Uh, biogas engines use biogas or biomass rather, or uh, yeah, biomass. Uh, it they run pretty uh, good, like pretty well, and uh, they use biomass, yes, but they use it pretty slowly in my opinion. Um, and how do you get biomass? Well, I will show you that right now. Okay, you're going to need something called a fermenter, which uh, you should watch my video if you want to know how to make. I'm pretty sure I made it on there. Uh, you're going to need water. Water, water can. Okay. You're going to need power, which let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see. We'll just use a redstone energy cell. Um, should be able to. Okay, yeah, should be working. Oh, you just need power, so I'm gonna use a redstone energy cell. Uh, a sapling or uh, other things, but I'll just let you figure out which other ones. And then uh. Effect on there. That is great. Fertilizer. Fertilizer will be the stuff we'll use. You can also use, uh, I think, uh, mulch, which comes from apples, and several other things. But if you click this right now... Fertilizer, okay. that's appetite, and that, and that. Yes. If you click this right now, you'll see that the uh, oak sapling 
Uh, it's being used. Here, one second. Let me get some more water. Um. Just so happens. Okay, so the uh, oak saplings are being used. That's a green bar on the left. And uh, the piece of fertilizer went into that little red bar. And basically, you're creating biomass. Okay. Now, if you wanted to harness this, you could get a uh, empty, empty cell, rather. Okay. Yeah, my, my phone. Hey, but at least it's not as deafening as it used to be, remember? Okay, so, uh, if you wanted to get a, a sail, a, yeah, not a sail, a capsule, um, you could harness this, or you could pipe it out, as I did in my workshop. And then, what? basically, you put that in a biogas engine, and yeah. However, there is a catch to the biogas engine. Um, you can't just... What? Does it blow up? No, it does not, actually. It is impossible to blow up. It actually requires to be a certain uh, heat before it'll even run, which is where the uh, the catch comes in. You need to put a little bit of lava in it just to kickstart it. Okay. No, so the thing is, though, this so engine's actually... It needs, water. It needs like, Well, to make big something. biomass, yeah. And then uh, a little bit of lava. But the thing is, there, there's also a cool thing about it. You could use milk or water as well. Alright. However, water, uh, d you would have to... Count? What? Where's that cow gone? Uh, he's over there. He's still... Still over there. You you can go get that. Uh, here, let's see. In buckets. I've got a bucket. Oh, you do? Okay. Yep. But I, I wanna I wanna get some too. People will want to see. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Okay. Didn't you make a sound when I did that? Okay, so now you can put milk in there, and uh, as I said, a little bit of lava. So let me see, get a lava bucket. Okay, and now, if we get this little trusty little energy cell, uh, we can, uh, uh, I'll talk to you about the energy cell in a second as well. Actually, we don't need the energy cell. What am I talking about? This thing makes power. We just need a switch. Yeah, a lever, or a lever. Sorry, I pronounced things bad, okay. So, uh, now, as you can see, that little red bar to the left, if you right click it, that just means that it's now powered. Now, uh, it uses milk extremely fast. There's not really... Like, milk is, is kind of low down there. Uh, however, milk does sustain its own heat. So you won't have to continually supply lava. However, if you use water, you will have to continually supply water. I mean, lava, rather. Sorry. Water. Because, okay. uh, water... Did you close it down? Yes. Wow. So, that okay. is, uh, that is that engine. Awesome. Moving on to the peat-fired engine. Uh, do you know what peat is? I believe you've used uh, forestry before. Okay, well, let's start with the peat bog. Okay. Well, here's the peat bog. It requires two things. Uh, actually, it requires one thing. Um, uh, hummus. Or wait, no, not even hummus. Bog earth, sorry. Ah, so much things to remember. So many things to remember, rather. So it requires bog earth. Basically, when you put bog earth in this little thing, uh, and you put a signal on it, a red power or redstone signal. Uh, I probably actually shouldn't do this because it's going to start breaking some of my engines. Oh god. Anyway, once you do that, <laughs> um, here, I'll go up here to do it. One second. Yeah, let's go over here. Oh, worry. Uh, yeah, so once you put this here and then put bog earth into the, uh, the slot, basically, it starts making a, uh, peat farm. Oh, Jesus. Why do people keep texting me? Uh, it's like they know that I'm recording. One second. Actually, I'm texting myself to make myself look wanted. Anyway, uh, so now it's going to make this farm. It's going to put water in there and all that. Um, and basically, after a little bit... Uh, I say basically a lot, sorry. But anyway, these things will become uh, peat-infested uh, uh, bog earth, I guess you would say. Okay. Um, they they have peat in them, and uh, maybe we'll be lucky enough to see that, and I'll show you. Uh, we can just leave here for now, because it's not going to be instantly done. Okay. Anyway, so you're going to put peat into these engines. So once you get peat, there's two types of peat. Uh, bitumous peat, I guess. Bituminous, I don't know. Peat and uh, regular peat. Now, bituminous peat is basically, I think... I think it does, it produces twice as much as peat, like, energy-wise, yet it, it still uses the same time length. So yeah, that's that. It's actually quite expensive compared to normal peat, though, so 
I don't prefer it, but um. Are they both, are they both produced in that pig farm thing? No, well, uh, Pete's produced in there, but uh, by two minutes, Pete, you have to put uh, you have to put uh two pieces of ash and a piece of propolis along with two more pieces of peat to make a by two minutes peat. So that is kind of a outrageous recipe in my opinion, but whatever. So you just put a piece of peat in there and uh, you you uh, hit the engine. And I actually love peat engines. They're awesome. They can't blow up. Uh, they will heat up though. They will heat up to, um, what do you call it? Uh, a certain heat. I don't know. I can't remember exactly. Um, well, I think... they're like, they're like they're redstone engines with that, are they? So like, the more they're on that, the more the better they get. Or... Um, I think so. I'm not sure. But uh, all I know is I love them a lot. They're really really reliable and they're kind of like uh, peat lasts a long time in them uh, I'm probably actually going to make a peat bog relatively soon however I believe the peat bogs recipe yeah it's, it's kind of it's kind of different so I'm gonna have to learn that again because that is the peat engine now the electrical engine is quite cool I mean if you've played Tekken for a while you will know what it is it was I, in Tekken I, I think this was in the uh, um, a previous version of Tekken but it got taken out when it I, I, yes. I saw, I've seen quite a few other people using this yes yes yeah I, uh, the like, first thing I electrical buffer I don't really know what it is so I won't tell you what that is because I don't really know now okay I just put a large circuit board in there so just right click it mm-hmm uh, see that r large circuit board? That basically is going to uh, increase the mega joule or Minecraft joule output, which is uh, which is you know what you want. You want a, a good engine. Now, if yep. I got a uh, solar panel or say ultimate hybrid solar, which yeah, there's no solar arrays in this anymore. Yeah, I look for them. Yeah. Um. Now I believe it just requires power at this point. So let's see. Maybe just normal solar panels. Like oh yeah, I have to obviously red pepper. Okay, yeah. So now once once it's a uh, uh, once it has power, it's going to start producing, uh, you know, mega jewels. The thing is though, it it's kind of like uh it it varies how much power you give it to how much power it's gonna output. If I remember right, it also matters uh, what kind of circuit board you put in there. Now there's. You know, if if you uh, if you put a like a circuit board in there and you want it out, you're gonna need a soldering iron. Now, soldering iron. Yes. Uh, if you look into any eye, you'll be able to see it. Basically, you get it, and uh, you just click the circuit board slot. So I'm gonna put the circuit back board back in, and here, yeah, you can just, you just click left click over this uh, circuit board with the soldering iron uh, while it's on your cursor. Like you click it in in your inventory and uh just left click the circuit board in the engine. Like right click the engine and look at the uh, thing, and click it from your in inventory and just left click in the engine. There you go. So yeah, that that's what an electrical engine does. It's uh, it's pretty cool. I don't necessarily like it. Uh, well, it's yeah, like crazy. It. <laughs> but uh, yeah, um, that that is definitely useful. Now, oh, steam engines. Okay, there's three different type, or I guess four. I don't know. Magmatic engines different. Okay, so there's three different types. Okay, the hobbyist steam engine, which uses uh, just steam and water. Uh, let's see. Yes, there's a new item, or new, uh, I guess, liquid in the game called Steam. Uh, no, it's not. It doesn't allow you to play games. I know, right? It's kind of crazy. I, I think I might be able to just place it in there, can I? Can I just place it in? Nah, uh, maybe not. That'd be too easy, wouldn't it? Yeah, it probably would be. Come on, come on. You know you want to. Come on. No? 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 Yeah, yeah, I can't. But basically, uh, when, I got, when you get a Steam engine, I don't know how to make one, so I can't show you that, but um, you'll be able to put, like, pump it, the steam out of the steam engine into these, and uh, they'll run. So, just take my word on that one. I guess. Magmatic engine, which is over here, and it's kind of in the middle. Uh, as you would suggest, as the name would suggest, once it gets magma, or lava, it, uh, it outputs energy. Yes. Uh, that, by the sound of that, that sounds really good. Yes. Sounds uh, really good. I believe, 
Yeah, by the by the amount of uh, lava in its uh, actual inventory, it depends on the. Oh wait, no, no, no. Okay, sorry. That that is wrong. It should look like it. Uh, the power actually increases as the heat increases, because you know, I mean, it, it is a magmatic engine. Uh, so you know, it does actually get pretty uh, pretty good. It, I don't know exactly how much megajoules it'll end up producing, but it is quite uh, quite a nice engine. And as you can see, it runs quite fast. Yeah, I was going to show um, what that takes to make. Yeah, uh, let's see. Make, make, engine. Tin, redstone, transmission coil, uh, tin gears, and a piston. So it's actually quite easy to make, I think. Very, apart very easy, yeah. I don't know how to make the uh, transmission coil, but I know how to make the rest, so. Yeah, that, that, even the transmission coil is pretty easy. Silver into okay. redstone. Oh, right, okay. This is from uh, Thermal Expansion, and it only goes up to... Oh, man, that's still going. So this is from Thermal Expansion, which is an awesome mod, and this is just scraping the surface of it. Trust me, it's crazy. Um, and yes, we will definitely get it more into that. Let's go and check on our peat farm. Does it have anything else yet? Well, let me just get some more peat bogs, so maybe it'll up the chance. It's actually called Bog Earth. Whoopsies. Oh, I could have sworn there would have been a uh, peat growth by now. Oh well. This redstone thing's pretty cool. Yeah, uh, that I will go on over in just a second. And actually, I have one of those made legitimately. I just haven't used it. Um, and I will definitely show more about that in a later bit. Now, let's see. We've shown uh, most of the engines. I think all of them, actually. Let's see, what else is there? Okay, uh, do you know anything about bee breeding? No, that, that, that sounds kind of fun. That, that's going to be an entire episode, so we'll save that. Don't worry, okay. YouTube, that will actually happen. And one, se one second, I will be right back. Okay, I'm back. And, uh, yep, so one of them actually changed. And, uh, so this is 22 minutes, so, you know, it's pretty good, uh, pretty good start on this episode. This will probably go up to 30 minutes. Anyway, so this is a peat bog, bog earth. So you can mine that real quick, and you'll get a uh, dirt and one peat. Yep. Yep. And if we had a, uh, I don't, I don't know what it's called. This is like a turbary. Uh, it, it's something that goes right next to this, and also requires power. And it will, uh, in a certain radius, it'll basically instantly mine and take it. And then uh, this will obviously replant the uh, bog earth. So you know, it, it's pretty good. I can't remember what it's called, but I will, I'll definitely uh, think about it. Yes, yeah, so, uh, so that's that's how you get peat. So right. glad glad that grew. So I mean, you can even do it manually, or you can get the other machine yeah, to definitely. attach it for you. And that that's that's one of the awesome things about forestry. Most of the things uh, that you can automate, you can also do partly by yourself if you really want to, which is great in my opinion. Uh, let's see. Uh, I think it's machine. There's casing. I'm just gonna try to figure it out real quick. Oops, wrong thing. Uh, okay. It's not an arboretum. It might be a combine. But yeah, uh, either way. Okay, so, uh, yeah, we'll definitely start on big breeding, just not right now, because that's going to be crazy. So, let's see. And, uh, not actually much has changed through, uh, IC2. Um, most of the things are quite the same. Uh, Greg Tech, which is an add-on for IC2, is added, which I will definitely... Actually, I'll, I'll start showing you some stuff in Greg Tech right now. Uh, personal saves look to be a little different. I mean, they're the same thing, yeah. just uh, they look awesome now. <laughs> oh, I love, I love the, um, the door effect on that. that does yeah. Good. Looks quite nice. Yeah. Okay, so let's go to Greg Tech. Um, Do you want to change the episode as well? What? Pick up the solars? Oh god. Uh, change the episodes, I mean. Um. Well, we were at 22 minutes a second ago. This thing's probably about to blow up. I don't think they blow up, but I think they steam and, like, short out. So, yeah. They might blow up, though. I uh, can't remember. Um, okay, so nukes are the same. I'm sure you know that, and I'll definitely touch on uh, how a nuke works in a, in a little bit, but, um. They're more just fun, aren't they? Yeah, they are. They're, they're just fun to blow up. On my server, I, I tend to use them to, like, if people start griefing, I, I need their house. 
That's what happened? I thought you said it was a creeper. <laughs> I've been griefed, I've been griefed. <laughs> okay. uh, yeah, let's find me. <laughs> you, you haven't it's noticed yet? Switch. Oh, actually, this is an awesome thing to show. Um, oh, hop up. Hop yeah, up. yes, hoppers are awesome, and I, I'm just so surprised that you don't know what they are. They're, they should so be in Tagit, they're so great. Uh, so say we had an induction, well, uh, actually an induction furnace. Say we had an electric furnace, right? They only have one inventory slot, that's so boring. I mean, if we had, like, a Billcraft pipe on here, like, you know, like, we here, let me get a pipe. Let me get a pipe, about a obsidian pipe and a stone pipe. Okay, if we had a pipe going here, and we just threw a lever, right? Because, you know, we need to smelt our levers. If we don't smelt our levers, and how are we going to get smelted levers? Well, even going in, I don't think they are. Okay, okay, let's smelt this pipe. Well, it doesn't even go... Wow, that's... Oh, yeah, so there's three levers in it. So, see, if we were to throw, like, a pipe to get our smelted pipe, it would instantly pop out on the end, okay? See, see what's just popping out? I mean, we can't even we can't even smelt our pipes anymore. However... Wait, wait, wait do you, do you smelt, smelt pipes? Oh, you don't need to, but I'm sure they're going to add that. Trust me, okay? I'm a dolphin. Anyway, if we put a hopper on it... Check that out. Yeah, basically it's a buffer. It has four inventory slots, so it can hold four stacks of any item. Um, basically now we can throw uh, our pipes in, and we don't have to worry about uh, our our smelted pipes being popped out because our smelted pipes or our pipes to be smelted are now in this hopper. And uh, yep. So if you mind taking the uh, levers out of the electric furnace, just watch what happens. As you can see, the stone transport pipes just funnel in. Oh, that's pretty cool. Yep. I like that. So you, know, I suppose you, you could do like um, you could do a chain of those from the macerator, have your, your the, ores in the, the macerator, awesome thing, right, though, up, and then go into there. This isn't even the coolest part about the hopper. The, the hopper literally gets so much cooler. Okay, so watch this, okay? Say that wasn't enough you hopper. You stack them? Yep. Oh my god. That wasn't enough hopper for us. I mean, we need to, like, we need to smelt some serious ore right now, right? So, basically, we we just throw pipes in it, you know? And watch this. It's just gonna funnel all the way down. I think. It's gonna be kinda awkward if it doesn't. Where did it go? Yep, yeah, Oh, sorry, wrong type pipe. What? Yeah, Why didn't it? Oh, okay, yeah, see. The thing to the very left is the uh, next in queue, basically. So now if I was to throw these pipes in, they're just going to funnel all the way down. Alright, so yeah, basically you can stack them as high as you want. Oh, well, actually not as high as you want, about 256 of them. So you know, that that's kind of a, kind of a, that, that kind of sucks, you know, you can only have 256 of them. But, uh, they have to be going down though, I'll take it. They do, they? Yeah, they can't, they can't share like that. Or okay. this, rather. But um, other than that, they are That's quite an awesome. That. That's awesome little add -on. And uh, speaking of build craft, that reminds me of a minor change to the golden pipe, not the golden waterproof proof, but the golden. Oh dang, I'm just terrible at clicking. The golden pipe is now always on. Ah, you, so don't you don't need, need a torch. Nope, you do not re need redstone. They're always on. There's nothing under these blocks. They're just instantly on. Uh, if you have a redstone torch, they will be turned off. I don't know why you would make a golden pipe to be turned off, but you know, you can always still toggle them. But yeah, generally, they are tr always turned on. That's good, that's neat. I like that yes, that's a, quite a nice bug. Uh, fix, rather. Or not not even a bug, but just quite a nice, you know. Um, while I'm in the pipe section... Uh, void? Void pipes, yes. So, so you know, you, you know that, uh, that laggy contraption I made on your server once? Uh, what, the solar panel machine thing? Yes, you know how I just had, uh, lava everywhere? Yeah. To, yep. To, yep. Well, you know, they Especially thought of that. Built on lava by the end of it, I think. Yeah, I mean, to, to just get rid of all the crap I didn't need. Well, they thought of things like that, and people like me. So, they were nice enough to make something that basically, you know, it, it makes it where you don't need lava. So, here, if I put a piece of, if I put an obsidian pipe there, and, uh, if you could just move, there we go. Obsidian pipe there. Uh, we need a waterproof obsidian. Well, I guess there isn't a waterproof. Derp. Anyway, uh, the, the waterproof works just the same. If I was to throw some levers in there, it would instantly be thrown to the void. 
So once I do this, uh, we'll never see these levers again. So I guess if I, uh, if I was to move this over here, and I'll also get this out. Okay, and I just threw a few of these in. Well, they're not rendering right now, but they just go straight to the void. And uh, yeah, we never have to worry about them. So that's an easy that's lag free way to. Yep. It's just an easy lag. Oh, whoa. Easy lag free way to delete items. And uh, it's quite awesome, if you ask me. Oh, yeah, I like that. That's yep. Cool. And uh, also, in the uh, area of pipes, we have the um, waterproof, or the uh, sandstone, and we also have the apiarist. Uh, we also have the cobblestone structure pipe, which I will get to in a second, don't worry. Um, and all the other ones I believe you've already seen, and uh, YouTube you should already know if you know anything about these mods. Okay, so there are two mo uh, two types of pipes right here. One's the apiarist, so you can right click that if you want. It's kind of like the wow. diamond pipe, it requires a diamond pipe to make, but uh, basically it's all for bees. Um, I have them a lot in my uh, apiary section, okay? So I can have some, yes, I can have something like pipe this, or uh, pipe uh, out of a apiary and say like I want any bees to go one place and I want any items to go another place. So like, uh, you know, all bees go down here and all bees go up here, or all items go up here. Okay. And uh, you can make like a purebred f uh, instant farm if you want. So yeah, that's basically how that works. Uh, it's quite fun actually. I haven't used it to the full extent, so I can't really teach you it so well. But it's it's quite awesome. Now sandstone pipes. Uh, sandstone pipes are made just as you would think, with uh, two sandstone and one glass. Uh, it'll actually be a lot more useful over here. So uh, say you know we were we were making a macerator uh, furnace combo, right? And we wanted to like pipe the things out of the macerator into the furnace. But yep. maybe we wanted like a chest buffer, and the chest was here for some reason. Well, if we were to if we were to pipe it out of the macerator and go into the chest, you know, it would, it would hit the furnace, right? Right. Yeah. Let me just get a chest real quick, so people can visualize this. So we wanted to go into this chest buffer just for some reason, and uh, there's no real way to block this unless we wanted to move the furnace. But that's always boring. Why would we move the furnace? Well, that's where the sandstone pipe comes in. If I was to break this and place a sandstone pipe, basically, the sandstone pipe can't connect to machines. Uh -huh. okay. So it so, just goes from one pipe to another. Yep. There is no machine, like, you can't connect this to machinery. Oh, There's just no way, unless you connect it to a pipe, connect it to a machine. So yeah, that is the sandstone pipe. I like that. That's cool. I'll be using that one. Yeah, I, I just, I love that pipe. That is my favorite pipe, in my opinion. It's just, all oh, I love it so much. Okay, um, well, now that I've searched chests, uh, you know all the iron, gold, silver chests, uh, crystal chests? Uh, okay, well, the APS chest is the forestry version of the chest. Basically, it's a five-page chest, uh, used for putting bees in. Now, I believe it counts the, uh, bees you put in it, so it, it'll tell you, like, you have this bee here and things like that, so let's see, I can get, like, a... A drone. I've got a bee. Oh, you do? Yeah, but you're not having it though. I want it back. Oh. I've got, I've got a nice bee here though. And if, if it was to, uh, okay, so if you put your mouse over that <laughs> bee, you would see some stats out for it. Like, I guess, possible mutations and such. Which is kind of cool. Uh, I mean, that's pretty cool. Yeah. It, it helps a lot if you're going to try to get, like, a pure red version of a certain bee. Definitely useful in that sense. Is that easy to make? Uh, yes, it actually is. It's, um, okay. bring this back. It is only, oops. It's only uh, five combs of any th uh, any type of comb. Could be all one type, it could be all different types. A chest and a piece of glass. Oh, wow, that is easy. Yeah, very easy. And uh, yeah, that, that's the chest. Uh, I believe this is actually the end of the episode. I know it's it's probably probably sad to, to go, but uh, I think we're definitely at about 30 minutes, and I don't want to bore people. So thanks for watching. We will uh, hit you guys up right after this. And uh, yeah, this has been Halo 220. Uh, don't forget to uh, subscribe if you liked it. Uh, like if you liked subscribe, it. Subscribe, people. You know, dislike if you don't like it. Whatever. Bye.